any album in my catalog, I can remember the girl I was dating. I can remember the car I was driving. I can remember the issues I was having because I've kind of stayed, you know, within that framework. So for me, I know a project is done when it, when I feel like I'm getting out of that time capsule. It's like, okay, no, this is what it is. Let's polish it up and, and give it to the people. For the next album that I want to do, I need a year or two because I really want to level up and live some life and really incorporate some things that I'm not ready to do yet. I've always took the approach of the, the first thing that happens is I get the feeling of, okay, I want to work on a new album. It's time to work on a new album. And I know right then I'm going to spend at least two or three months making trash. But I know I have to go through that process to get to the one or two gems. That's like the very start of what direction I'm going to go in. So with Pharaoh, like I knew I wanted to work on an album. We had a couple different names. But when I made Han OK, I was like, OK, here we go. This is this is what is centered around. Everything is centered around this track, this type of feel and figure out where to take it. If we're taking it to a label if we're self-releasing it, um, if it's going to be a free download, whatever it is, I try as much as I can to never mix the business within my art. And to some people, that's a foolish thing and I can understand it. But I, I like in a sense doing like method acting when I'm producing. I want to be all the way in that world. I don't want anybody telling me what kind of record I need. I have to be all the way raw with the music I'm making so it can be as pure as it is. And so it can uh, capture that time period. And then I'll take a step back and be honest and we'll say, OK, well, this is this type of record. It should probably go over here. We can actually press a vinyl because I feel like people will be emotionally attached to this one. And that's how we're moving with this one. But I always do the art first and then take off that hat and sit with the team and figure out, OK, now. What is this and how do we how do we sell it? With Low, I finished the whole version of that album that was done, I want to say November 2017. And riding around listening to it with my sister, it just didn't feel right. You know, it was one of those situations, like I said, I, I'll make the album and I'll take a step back and listen to it and figure out what it is. And when I took that step back, we had already engaged with Fat Beats getting ready to start pressing things. And I, I had to tell them, I said, this is not it. I need three or four more months. I know where I'm going, but this is not it. And that three or four months I did, I want to say 16 new joints of the 21 that are on there. And then it felt right. So, you know, just going off of what you're saying, you have to be able to sit with it and it has to feel good. You can't just put it out because it's done. 